Hello, welcome to Odubo YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Uh, today we are going to see how we can execute a cross-platform foreground automation using a Linux Docker image. So in uh, in our previous uh, videos, I showed you how you can uh, uh, run robot Linux uh, Docker image like a Docker container, uh, even in Kubernetes as well. And we have seen how we can deploy uh, uh, robot Linux containers to Kubernetes using CI CD as well, right? Uh, but in those uh, demo, I showed you how to execute the background automation, correct? Uh, so after that, I got few inquiries like, can we automate the foreground automation as well uh, using these Linux robots? So today I will show you how it can be created, this cross-platform automations and how it can be triggered using the Linux robots, right? So I already opened uh, this command prompt. So let me search for docker hyphen version. Okay, so already Docker is there, and uh, let me do one thing. Let me start the Docker desktop as well. Okay, so let it start. And uh, meanwhile, I have opened uh, the cloud as well as uh, the GitLab. And what is first step? We have to first create a uh, Docker uh, host, right, for running our uh, images. So let me go here. Let me go to Orchestrator. Okay. Okay, so let me search for Docker images. Just images any container, Docker PS. No container is running, right? So if I go here, Docker jobs, sorry, automation jobs, and start. Let me select uh, any. Okay, this is a cross, cross platform project on Netminder. And uh, let me select uh, the account, Missy. This is a machine that I have created. And uh, hostname is none, right? So the first thing is I need to create a hostname. So, how we can do We have to uh, run the Linux Docker image in a uh, Docker container environment. Docker environment, right? So, I already uh, modified this uh, docker script. I showed all the steps in the previous uh, videos. I updated the client ID and the secret ID with the uh, new template details. So let me copy this and uh, let me run this one. Okay, so it is executed. So now if you search for a docker ps, we will be able to see one container is running. Right? So this is a container ID. Let me go back here. Okay. Uh, let me it will anyway it will take some time and uh, let me show this cloudflare as well okay two more unattended Account I'm going to choose like a cabinet sample and uh, this is the machine not going to server yeah now we can see a host is now created right and uh, this is same like uh, the container that we just executed so this is a running container 2db8 and uh, the same is available in the orchestrator also so what is the next step? We need to create a foreground cross-platform automation, right? So what I'm going to do is, let me go back, okay? Let me go to uh, this window, and here I'm going to choose Studio Web, okay? I will show you how you can create a cross-platform automation, okay? So for this automation, I'm going to use RPA Challenges application, and uh, let me show you the um, a feature of autopilot as well in uh, UiPath that help you to automatically create your automation based on the prompt that you are going to give. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just give me uh, just click on this uh, new project. Let me give it like a cross demo project. Okay, click on create. Okay, now click on plus button. I'm going to use a browser. Okay, so this is a uh, UI based automation, right? I need to enter all the details in the RP challenge application. So, what is the first step? I need to indicate the RP challenge window. 
okay i indicated rp uh, 7 window and it will uh, automatically fetch the ui elements and now here you can see there is a prompt generate the ui automation activities using autopilot and this autopilot is in a preview mode i will give more videos on autopilot how it is going to work and how it is going to help you in your automation journey all these things i will be uh, covering in the uh, next videos so now i will show you a basic understanding about how we can use this autopilot for creating a basic automation so let me click on generate okay now it will open up this particular window where you can type the description or the prompt okay so i'm going to uh, give some prompt like enter the data to all fields in the page okay so that's it let me click here now here you can see it is generating activities from prompt so from the prompt that i enter it is automatically generating uh generating the activities okay so let me run okay so here you can see it is automatically identified the elements and it has uh, uh, automatically populated the type into activity okay and here at the bottom you will be able to see a confirm button just confirm okay and click on save if you do that all the activity that got captured will be coming here in our automation and uh, as you all know like this uh, studio web automation is a cross-platform automation right so if you want to link this to your Apex desktop studio you can directly link it or if you directly want to uh, make some action in the studio web and if you want to publish to office written that is also possible so before doing the publishing let me run this and show you how it is going to work okay so this is already opened so it will start the execution and uh, yeah here you can see sorry here here you can see it has already uh, opened the window and it has executed all the steps okay so let me execute again okay so here you can see it is uh, starting the execution counting to a stream and uh, it is opening up the rpa challenge and it is entering some uh, dummy data so this data is out of out of operated if you want to change the data you can modify so let me do one thing let me publish this okay and this is our project name close demo project and i'm going to publish to tenant process feed okay so that part is done so let me do one thing let me duplicate this tab okay let me go here orchestrator okay go to automation okay let me create a process and for that let me choose this automation post demo project right? so this is the package that we uh, just now published to orchestrator i have selected that okay let me provide the same name post demo project okay and let me click on create okay so this name is already used so let me do you do one thing i'm putting it like youtube okay click on create and now start okay and uh, this is the job that just now i created and here the runtime should be unattended and here i'm going to choose account like a uh, kubernetes uh, robo and here the machine is kubernetes machine template and here host name is 2d bb so this is a linux robot and i'm going to use this linux robot for executing the foreground cross platform automation okay so let me click on start okay so here it is a pending allocation it will take some time for completing the automation okay so there was some confusion like uh, this linux robots can automate only uh background automation it's not the case like all the cross platform automations like uh, uh foreground as well as background can be automated using linux robots okay so here it will take some time let it run Okay, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, like it's very easy to deploy this Linux robots as a Docker container, and uh, you can easily assign the uh, jobs to the particular uh, Docker images that is running, right? So here you can see different possible. And if you want to see this uh, execution, what you have to do, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you you should install the VNC pair, then only you'll be able to uh, see the execution. Okay, 
So that's how it is going to work. Uh, you can easily uh, define the remote robot uh, as well, and you can easily uh, create uh, cross platform automations using the autopilot feature as well. And you can easily create the job and uh, use the uh, newly created hostname or Linux robots for executing these uh, jobs. All right. So it's very easy. If there is any confusion regarding uh, like uh, robots, uh, Linux images can only execute foreground or background. It's not the case. It can execute both uh, foreground as well as the background. But there are some restrictions. It helps only for executing cross-platform projects. Okay. So I hope you got a basic understanding about uh, how it is going to work. If there is any confusion, please do mention it in the comment section. You can help you. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.